Today's video is made possible by A-Data. Their XPG line of SSDs brings ultra-fast performance in both 2.5 inch and M-SATA form factors to perfectly suit your upgrade needs. For more info, check out the link below. What's going on tech fans? Welcome back to Tech of Tomorrow for another day of tech. We're here at the Sun Squared Media offices to film you guys a brand new video of the Asus Maximus 6 Formula motherboard. That's right. This is all based on the new Haswell platform and it's got all kinds of killer features. ROG is for the gamers and let's see what comes inside this box as I think you guys are going to really like this motherboard. <laughs> All right, folks, we'll start out real quick, just taking a look at the box. You see the front cover here, we got the Republic of Gamers. Then we have the Maximus 6 Formula motherboard designed for gamers. You can see it's the Z87 chipset, supports both SLI and Crossfire, and the onboard graphics will do 4K. Not very well, but they'll do it. Now, some of the interesting things about this motherboard, we'll open it up, is this thing can use air or water cooling, depending on what you're gonna do. They feature ROG armor on the back of the motherboard to make sure that you don't cut your hands up or cause any static problems. Right here, you see the cross chill. The cross chill will allow you to use both water cooling or air cooling, depending on what you wanna do. If you wanna use your water cooler, you can actually hook it up directly to this motherboard. Board. Now, as far as the audio, this thing has advanced Supreme FX, and one thing about it is it's segregated. Audio gets a lot of noise on motherboards because of the fact that the sound is not segregated from motherboards. You get electronic noise going through. With the way these guys have segregated, you get none of that. They're actually using Supreme Elna Premium audio capacitors, and like I said before, the shielding which helps. They also use extremely good headphone op amps, so if you want to listen to headphones or high-end headphones, you'll be able to do that. Just a lot of good stuff on that. I'm not going to reiterate too much because we're going to jump in that we look at the board. They also have a new MPCI Combo 2. It'll work with M SATA and it'll work with the new configuration that's coming out which is replacements which we'll talk about when we get into the board. Here you guys can see the board inside of its nice plastic case showing it off. I'm just going to flip it around real back and show you guys the back of the box. Just shows the nomenclature again, the cross chill, advanced Supreme FX, their Extreme Engine Digi Plus 2 which helps keep your motherboard running cool and quiet as the electricity is well conditioned going to the motherboard. And then once again, they're gonna cover the MPCI Combo 2. With that said though, let's actually jump in and see a look at the board. The only other thing I do wanna talk about is this right here. If some people are looking to buy the board, this is actually the product SKU for it. And so with that said, let's jump in and let's start checking out this board. I'm gonna go ahead on the bottom right here, there's a little tab right here. Go ahead and go ahead, and I think I'll use the top one actually. I think it's probably a little more flexible since it's been open a couple times. Pop the cap right there. There's two boxes that come inside of here. One is the motherboard box itself, and then the other is the accessory box, which is right here. And I'm gonna go ahead and start off by doing the accessories first, just make it a lot simpler. Now, inside of here, start off. We have the motherboard user's guide. It has all the information about the motherboard inside of it. Make sure you read it if you're unfamiliar with the board. The driver CD and all your utilities, like all the different special features and all the software that has to do with Asus motherboards will be on this. So you guys want to install all that stuff that'll be there. You also have SATA cable labels. So sometimes when you're hooking up your, your SATA connectors and stuff, it gets confusing where your hard drives and stuff are. You can mark them with this. That way, if you want to do any hot plug and play stuff, you can know where it's at. Don't get confused. You'll just go, hey, that's my drive. Pull it and replace it. Got a little door hanger right here. Do not disturb. Champion in action. Um, I put this on my door whenever I'm making love. So, you know, I'm champion in action. Just saying. So, you know, and right here it says enter champion to break. So when I'm taking a break, you know, I'll put that on there. Next up. We have this little combination thing right here. This is both your Wi-Fi, your M-SATA, and your new NGFF. I'm gonna try to get this up closer to the camera. Now, NGFF is going to replace M-SATA next year, and so this will become widely available. So this is three things in one. It's that, the M-SATA, and it's the Wi-Fi all in one little accessory. It just plugs right into your board simply enough, and you get all that stuff on it. Go ahead and just move past that, set that off to the side. We have the rear shielded I.O. It actually has like little foamy stuff inside of here to protect from electrostatic discharge. And everything's clearly marked in it. So when you put it in the back of your motherboard, you'll be able to clearly see where everything goes and how you can access it. No problem at all. Next up is the ASUS 
two-in-one quick connect. Those are these right here. Don't need to take them out of the bag. I'm not going to use those quite yet. Then we have what they call the dual band Wi-Fi moving antenna. I'll go ahead and just take this out so you guys can check this out and see it. I'll just rip the plastic on that particular one so you guys can see that. So this little antenna plugs into those two little plugs that we showed you earlier on this. So once this is installed, they connect to this. And you got a little external antenna that you can use right here, which pops open. You can see this little tab, but it's uh, got some plastic stuff on here. So, but this is basically it. It's your antenna. You have different ways you can do it. It'll lay flat, stand up sideways, or stand straight up, depending on how you want it to be. See, you move it around, do different things with it, just depending on what you want to do. That goes with that. Then we have the SLI connector right there little NVIDIA logo on the inside of there. Then last but not least, we have four of the SATA six gigabit per second cables. And that's pretty much it as far as the accessories go. All right, folks, so here you guys can see the Maximus 6 Formula motherboard. Now, this thing is even more badass than I even thought it was going to be. This thing has the same kind of bitchin' armor that we've seen on their Sabertooth boards, but now we're seeing it move over to the ROG. Now, some of the main things about the board are that you have eight separate fan connectors on the board, starting up on top, moving all the way around. There's eight separate fan connectors. Also on the top of the board right here, you can see this connection right here. This is for your combo M SATA and wireless. Next to that, you see the first of the Easy Connect ports. There's the eight pin and the four pin. And then all the way down at the bottom of the board, I'm gonna swing down and you see the last of the Easy Connects. This one on the bottom is actually a Molex one. Now, right across the top up here, we're gonna see the MEM OK button. Now, the MEM OK button is when you put extremely high end memory in your system and it won't boot. You hold the MEM OK button down and it'll allow the system to boot, finding the correct settings that will allow that memory to post in your system. As we roll down along the board, we see all these hotspots right here. These are hooking up for your multimedia and stuff so that you can check out all the PowerPoints on your motherboard. Here, we have the QLED code. This will show you different codes in the motherboard upon your boot, telling you if there's any type of problems. In the manual, they give a series of numbers that correlate to this, which will tell you what the problem is. Next to that, we have the start button, then the reset button, and then another chassis fan. Then down below that, we have the 24 pin power connector. Now, here's the LGA 1155 socket. Now, in this little socket area, it is kind of smaller than some I've seen, but obviously ASUS has done their homework because they're not gonna make a board that you're not gonna be able to use aftermarket cooling on. Now that we're on cooling, let's actually talk about that. Right here, you guys can see if I pull these off, are two areas to connect a water cooler to your system. So you don't have to do this, but if you wanna water cool your system, you can actually integrate this board into it. All of your high quality components and everything are actually covered by the tough cover, so you can't really see them very well on the motherboard. Here to the right is the memory. Now, this is pretty incredible. You can use 32 gigabytes of DDR3 up to 3000 megahertz. That's right. 3000 megahertz is what they're trying to push right now. I know with XMP profiles that 2800 megahertz is posting, but I have not yet to get my hands on or try memory of extraordinary speeds like that. Coming down the board right here, we see the USB 3.0 connector. Then we have our little ASUS thing down here covering some more of the components. As we go up here, right underneath where the CPU goes, you guys can see we have the ASUS Republic of Gamers. Now this is gonna light up in all red, making your motherboard look even more bitchin'. Now we're gonna flip over here. Here are two more of the fan connectors. Then we have one, two, three PCI 1X connectors. PCI 1 is 16.8, PCI 2 is 8.4, and PCI 3 is just 4. Now I'm going to flip the motherboard around. We're going to take a look right here. Here are all the SATA connectors. Now, this is where I do actually have a problem with this. So, JJ, if you're listening to this video, dude, I'm going to tell you I think this is quack. These controllers on here are Intel and as media, but they're all colored the same. Now, I know you guys have included those stickers on there, but it would have been a lot nicer to actually know which controllers are which just by looking at it. Like usually the Intel ones will be black and the as media ones will be red. Now they've just colored everything red. So these six right here are Intel. These two right here though are the as media. 
I'm gonna flip the board back around again. And right here on the side right here, we have the quick boot feature. And this allows the system to boot directly into Windows, overpassing a lot of the BIOS things that get checked. Now, as we swing down further, we see the direct key. What the direct key allows you to do is if you hit this key, your motherboard will boot up and when it reboots back up, it'll go directly into the BIOS. So if you're sitting doing testing or whatever and you don't want to mess with pushing the button, you just hit this button first before you restart and then it goes automatically into the BIOS. No problems at all. Now down here on the bottom of the board, these are where all the connections from your case and everything hook up. So you take all those wires for you know your LED, hard drive, start, all that, they're all located right here. Then we have USB 2.0, and then we have a ROG external connector. Now, the ROG external connector allows you to hook up this little thing and overclock your system without even going into the BIOS whatsoever. You hook up the ROG extension, look at that little bad boy, overclock, and then have your system go. It's pretty cool. I have them from another motherboard. Maybe I'll even hook it up when I do my overclocking, but for what we do at my house, we don't get into LN2, so we don't get too crazy. So we go down here, we have the IR header, chassis fan. Like I said before, this is the easy plug down here on the bottom. This is a Molex easy plug. You want to probably just go ahead and plug that in if you want to have extremely power to your motherboard. If you want extra power and all that stuff, you can go ahead and hook that up and it's supposed to allow the motherboard to run a little bit better. Down next to that, we have the SPDIF out. Now on the rear I.O., you're going to have the Philips SPDIF, but this is actually for a coax connector. So if you want to use a coax connector, you'd hook that up and put it to the back of your system. Now, before I go to the rear row though, I want to turn this board over to the back. I really like this a lot. I know all of you guys really like this a lot. On this part, ASUS, you guys are doing a badass thing here. Mixing the Sabertooth board's features onto this board, I really gotta say I'm impressed. I love this, I love this, I love this. I just do, and I know you will too. Now let's flip it around. Let's take a look at the rear I.O. We have CMOS reset, ROG connect. Then we have three USB 2.0 connectors, and on the bottom of that, we have the ROG connect. Next to that, we have four USB 3.0, Philips SPDIF out, HDMI display port, LAN, two more USB 3.0 ports, and then we have audio. Now this audio can be flavored in two, four, six, or eight channel, depending on how you wanna do it, and you can hook it up either digitally or analog, depending on your choice. So there you guys have it. You guys can see that this new ROG motherboard has all kinds of features on it. Whether you're looking for extensive audio, overclocking, water cooling, it's all covered on the Maximus 6 Formula motherboard. Like usual, if you guys are looking to purchase this board, down below the like button in the description will be all the information about that stuff. And if you're not subscribed to the channel, hey, make sure you hit that button back over here. This next week, I'm gonna throw this motherboard in the test station, run all the tests, then I'll bring you guys the full review next week of this great product from the people over at ASUS. I'm Ellerick and I'm out.